I assure you, today you will be with me in paradise. As Jesus hung on the cross, he was mocked by the leaders and the soldiers. One of the criminals with him added his own measure of scorn. But the other crucified criminal, he sensed that Jesus was treated unjustly. And after speaking up for him, he cried out, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus responded to this criminal, I assure you, today you will be with me in paradise. The word paradise from the Greek, the word paradisos, means garden. It was used in the Old Testament as a word for the Garden of Eden. In Judaism, at the time of Jesus, it was associated with heaven and also with the future when God would restore all things to the perfection of a garden. Paradise was sometimes thought to be the place where the righteous people went after death. And this seems to be the way in which Jesus uses paradise in that passage. Here we have encountered one of the most astounding and encouraging verses in all scripture. Jesus promised that the criminal would be with him in paradise. Yet the text of Luke gives us no reason to believe that this man was a follower of Christ or a believer in him in any way or in any way a good person. He might have felt sorry for his sins, we suppose, but he did not obviously repent. Rather, the criminal's cry to be remembered seems more like a desperate, last-ditch attempt. Though, of course, we should make every effort to have the right theology. And though we should live our lives each day as a disciple of Jesus, in the end, our relationship with him comes down to the simple trust. Jesus, remember me, we cry. And Jesus, embodying the mercy of God, says to us, you will be with us, with me, in paradise. We are welcome there, not because we have the right theology, not because we are living rightly, but because God is merciful. And we have put our trust in him. So I wonder if we reflect for a moment, how have we staked our life on Jesus? Have we? Have we put our ultimate trust in him? Do you know that when your time comes, you will be with him in paradise? Do you have that trust? Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I wonder at your grace and mercy. When we cry out to you, you hear us. When we ask to rem you to remember us, when you come into your kingdom, you offer us the promise of paradise. Your mercy, dear Lord, exceeds anything we might imagine. It embraces us. It encourage us, encourages us, heals us. O oh Lord, though my situation is so different from the criminal who cried out to you, I am nevertheless quite like him. Today I live, trusting you and you alone. My life, but now and in the world to come, is in your hands. And so I pray, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me today as I seek to live within your kingdom. Amen. God bless.